perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. On today's episode, there's something important to say. For YouTube user Noel11 has sent some wisdom my way. We connected online by chance, through divine synchronicity. I can see this person's soul, but know them not semantically. I do not know if he is male who has accessed his heart. I do not know if she is female, equal to any man and just as smart. I do not know if they are old, but childlike as many sages. I do not know if they are very young, but possessing the wisdom of the ages. I do not know if they are black or white, African, European, Canadian, or Brazilian, rich or poor, or sick or well, but their words are worth more than a million. This timeless wisdom you will hear, but to a 21st century expression. Jesus, Gandhi, and many others shared it too. Different versions of the same lesson. The world has been pulled over your eyes. Neo, you are a slave. A prison without walls or bars. But holographic neurology to which we behave. Neo said it seems so real. Morpheus caused him cognitive dissonance pain. He said, if real is five sense reality, then real is nothing more than electrical impulses interpreted by your brain. How can atoms made of pure energy form solid tables, chairs, and you and me? For energy is light and vibration, non-physical holographic frequency. It cannot, and does not, and never will. So this I offer you as the red pill. Will you go down the rabbit hole to finally see that you are your own key to being free? Or will you take the blue pill and wake up in your bed with whatever you want to believe? If it's the red pill you want, then here is what Noel 11 has seen. The prison in which you find yourself caught is made of beliefs accepted by thought. Some beliefs are great, some others are small. Continuously moving, thought fine-tuning them all. In a search for security, which it cannot find, thought separates itself and fragments the mind. Belief divides reality religiously, nationally, and socially, too. It divides into us and them, the ours and theirs, the me and you. Observe the cycle of fear, watch it spin. Time and belief hold many more cycles deeper within. If you look at life without first ending fear, your vision will be distorted, discolored, and unclear. To bring an end to fear, and not by suppression, nor by the will, and not by taking a drink, drug, or bill. But when the mind is aware, the cycle comes to rest, that is to live with compassion, and that is life at its best. You will not come across truth on a path, nor via the grace of God. No one can give you the truth. And there is no method. And not through analysis, because that never ends. It goes on continually, on turning right-handed bends. And not through dependency. Now, please, let's be clear. Dependency is the mother of fear. You can read these words day after day, time and again, but they'll do no good for you. They are only the truth when you live what they say, when you feel what they mean, and that flows in with your blood. 
Empty your consciousness of all that's inside. Empty it all. Don't neglect that which will hide. Dissolve the ego. Don't destroy the body and mind. A mind that ceases searching is the mind that will find. It will uncover the truth, not according to you or me, but the truth that only a clear mind can see. You're locked in a prison of belief, image, and word. You travel through life unsure and in a herd. Your cell door appears locked, and yet you hold the key. You'll see that you're holding it if you're listening to me. This trap you are caught in is the prison you've made. You've not placed every brick, but you've accepted them laid. And now, as you look out through the bars of this rhyme, ask, what has imprisoned you? What was your crime? You stumble in darkness because you've no light. You cannot see your way through because you've no sight. You say, if there were light, I'd be able to see. I'm showing you your light. Are you listening to me? Emotional sentiment cannot show you that which is true. The saviors and saints will not show it to you. All inner authority will do the same, which is to condition the mind into a meaningless game. To conform and compare will only bring pain, confusion, and conflict. Can you see? It's insane. The only way out is to empty the known. When there's freedom from knowledge, totally new things are shown. You want an absolute truth? Okay, this is one. You are a collection of memories, things that have gone, an outcome, a product of things that have passed, and to step out of that is to find freedom at last. So, be aware of all thought, its movement and flow. Don't react or accept things it may show. If you've taken in these words without thought taking flight, You'll now feel the key. You'll now see the light. The door is wide open. It's for you to walk through. Don't depend on anyone. It's all up to you. When you walk through that door, your brain will mutate. It will start to live wholly. It will begin to create. The time to step out of this chaos is now, and there is no one to show you how. Don't read these words day after day, time and again, because they'll do you no good. They are only the truth when you live what they mean, when you feel what they say, and it flows within your blood. Empty the subconscious of all that's inside. Empty it all. Don't neglect that which will hide. Dissolve the ego. Don't destroy the body and mind. A mind that ceased searching is the mind that will find. It will uncover the truth, not according to those living or dead, but the truth of what is, and not the word that's been said.